folks, I just made my first time lapse with the GoPro Hero 4. Now, I'm making this little video here just to show you because it's kind of cool. I've got total control over the speed of this thing and how it all works. So I'm, I'm in Adobe Premiere Pro here. And we're going we're gonna to zoom in on this in just a little bit. First of all, I want to say that the GoPro Hero 3 was just, for me, famously bad in low light and at night. I think it was just worthless. So one of the things I was very much intrigued by with the GoPro Hero 4, and it really, so far, is the, to me, one of the best things about it is being able to shoot a nighttime time lapse like this. Uh, that I set my GoPro to do a time lapse, 30 second uh, shots, 30 second exposures of the stars. This is looking in a general direction of north. Somewhere along here is Polaris. We'll be able to see. Uh, uh, I can't I can't make out the little dipper. I'm looking for it here on the screen, and we're seeing it one fourth. Maybe I should go to like you know one. We'll go to full. Uh, let's make sure what we got here. This, I'm in Adobe Premiere Pro here. Uh, Paul's resolution is full, so we are seeing it full resolution there. So what I did, uh, I, I had a uh, folder of images I, I, I put out there. I let this go for about an hour and a half, and the battery, yes, was about discharged in an hour and a half. So a 30-second exposure and one picture every 30 seconds. So what did we get? Well, if I just drag across here, you'll see it does quite well. If I stop anywhere here, you'll see it gets the stars really well. You can see some of these places like here where we have a, an aircraft coming across. And there are a lot of aircrafts that fly through. Some of, the, some of these flashes in the trees are cars going up and down the road. And it really does a nice job. So I'm going to render this video out. And at the very end, we'll, uh, we'll look. Let's, let's see if it'll play. Even though we're, we're not in, we're, we're, a lot of times it does not want to play when you're in full uh, view here. Or in other words, full quality uh, playback. But let's see if this, this is a huge, it's 12 megapixel, I think, I think they're 4,000 by 3,000 or something like that, pixel images. Let's see if it will play here. You get, and I've got this at 50% speed, you can see here at 50% speed, just watch the sky there and you'll see. That's pretty good, now I'm capturing this with Snagit, which is only 10 frame per second video, but if I back up here a little bit, I'm just clicking my back and forth arrows here, we can see that you can see some pretty cool stuff happening. So I've got it at 50% every two clicks gives me a, uh, a, a single frame. It was only like six, a little over six seconds <laughs> when I uh, made it. Well, here I can do it 100%. We'll take a look and see what it was. Let's do uh, speed duration 100% now. Okay. Now here's how fast it actually really took place. The, so you can see the rotation of the stars and the skies. You can see that everything's rotating around this point. I'm, I'm sure this must be Polaris here. Let's watch it again, see if it moves. See, look, that star's not really moving, is it? Maybe just a tiny bit. We're close. It's, it might be might be this star right here. So there we go. I mean, uh, I'm going to render this out and put it at the end of this video, but here, uh, for about three and a half minutes, we've just been looking at it, and it looks really great. I could tilt into this for a second. Maybe let's do this. Let's see if we can play it here. Here you go. Now we can really see the rotation in the sky, clouds, and the, and the aircraft coming across. I'm going to take this up to my brother's uh, home up in the high, Appalachian Highlands where it's really, really dark. See, we've still got some glow from a uh, street light across uh, where a church is near me. But this is going to be beautiful. I'm gonna, I think you know, a lot of moonlight tonight, too, so it's not super, super dark. I mean, we've got about a two-thirds moon right now. So I'm thinking this is really going to be one of the coolest things about the new GoPro Hero 4. So I'll end this with about 12 seconds of fully rendered out video so you can see how the motion looks. Thanks for watching folks. Subscribe if you like.